Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo, getting ready to do your love reading from the time you listen to this reading into August. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go back today to the um, the previous spread. Um, I'm just feeling that energy and I'm just feeling like I need to be here and doing this spread. So just so you know, if you're new to my channel, though, welcome. Please do hit like, share and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site where you'll be able to choose which option you would like for personal phone call reading with me. Okay, so we're looking at your person past, present, and then the future. Okay, so we have Gemini, Capricorn, and Scorpio. All right. Where are my Romance Angels cards? Oh, here they are. Okay, hold on a second. I want to get a couple of... These are the Romance Angels deck. They used to be by Doreen Virtue, but she's not doing them anymore. So I have, I think, is it Raleigh Valentine or something is doing these decks now? So you can get them on Amazon. I, I can't 100% be sure, but they're called Romance Angels. All right, let's take a look at the love messages here for you, Virgo, for the person you have on your mind or what else might show up here okay past position heart to heart conversation present flirt and near future finances and career okay virgo i feel like you you either you tried to have a heart to heart conversation with your person or you both had a heart to heart conversation and some of you came to the conclusion either it, it was either mutual that you both came to the conclusion that you're you're both moving on and maybe this is not what either one wants so there's separation or your person said that that they were just moving on or you said it right but this is their reading so it feels to me like you were trying to have a conversation with someone and it feels like whoever you were dealing with in the past walked away okay withdrew from the connection eight of cups energy um there's abandonment so some of you this person left you they abandoned you or they abandon the relationship that's what the eight of cups is withdraw moving on um retreating or abandoning the relationship the death card is here so something came to an end now for some of you this situation i feel like needed to happen to bring about some new energy in this connection okay that may not have manifested yet for some of you and for others this person may have walked away from the relationship so they were trying to manifest something in their own life turning some visions into reality that kind of thing they might have had a conversation with you and said they, they're temporary temporarily separating but then they wound up leaving actually they have something going on in their life here but i'm going to pull some clarifying cards for the death card and the magician okay yep the chariot making some kind of change this person i feel like they took off they left they were trying to actuate some change in their life um travel on some kind of new journey some of them just decided that they were going out to buy a new car maybe they didn't come home for some of you i don't know who that's going to resonate for but um or they said i just heard they're going for some of you my goodness either they said they were going on vacation and they were going to do something they were just going out to get some milk or something and all right and they didn't come back okay now for some of you something happened okay and I don't want I don't really like the way I feel right now when I'm picking up this energy um, but this is something this is not predictive this is for those of you that this situation occurred um, so there was either 
something ended in the 3D and the physical, okay? For some, there may have been an accident or a car kind of situation or something like that. This is not predictive. This is for those of you that know, okay, that yes, you're shaking your head. You're like, yes, that's exactly what happened. And there may be some of you um, are widows. And in the past, you were left to your own devices to try to like start over in your life. Okay. Okay. Justice. Some court stuff. I feel like there was some court, there might have been some court issues. And I know not that this is not going to resonate for everyone, so bear with me. I'm going to try to intuit and uh, get all these messages out here for you. Um, Libra and energy, Cancer as well. Did I say Gemini? Gemini's there. Um, but there was definitely a either temporary separation or there was some kind of a divorce and or uh, and and in the past it could have been recent past it could be now and there was a desire to talk but it couldn't happen okay so it just kind of feels like somebody might have got taken gotten taken away I just heard on a, a legally like through the courts or something or went into jail which is so strange these messages are coming at me so fast okay here's the emperor boy he always shows up in these readings Virgo okay the emperor Aries energy so the the overall message I feel like in the past is there was someone who was quite significant in your life and there was some kind of a separation this person left abandon the connection abandon the relationship um it may have seemed like or they may have seemed like it was just a temporary separation but it feels to me like this person it, it became the truth came out in some way that this person has made a decision to not return or they are out doing whatever they're doing in their life and having all this stuff going on in their life, right? They're traveling. Um, they, they, they're trying to like transform their lives. They're doing something different. Um, they're trying to win something. Let's get it. Let me get it. It's because I have all major arcana here. Let's take a look at the emperor again. Okay. Four of swords, silence. What's the chariot here for? Okay, the five of wands, some type of competition, challenge. I, I just get this sense, of, like, I don't know, that this person, they went on some kind of an adventure, like a, ch like, a, like a challenge or something they had to fight. They had to, like, win something or have uh, some kind of, like, I don't know, like, a, like they had to go out and fight somebody or there was like a sport or something they had to do. There was this intention to, to have like to be a winner with justice is like a win-win uh, solution. You know, like they're, even if they lose their win, they're just trying to manifest some type of win in their life here. And then the Four of Cups. It just feels like this person was really indifferent to the love and the relationship formed this level of apathy in the past indifference to it they felt unfulfilled and this person i feel like separated from you to try to get find this fulfillment elsewhere no matter what it might have been The center of the reading in the present, this person, the devil is here. Um, I just hear this person was chasing waterfalls. They're, they're, in, when, they, when they left or when they did whatever they were doing or whatever they were seeking or chasing after or trying to have or fight for, it was chasing these waterfall, waterfalls. Maybe you had a conversation with them and told them that, okay? like came out with some truth and discussed how you felt about what they were doing 
or maybe they were telling you that this is like they weren't feeling this connection anymore and this is the direction they were going and they had to like manifest something in their life and I, I say chasing waterfalls because look there's waterfalls there but you know what <laughs> visions of grandeur these waterfalls they're coming out of the four of cups and it's almost like you're sitting there watching this person and they are it's not helping, it's, it's not working, they're not fulfilled. This is a card of feeling unfulfilled. So, you know, chicken or the egg, I mean, they're feeling unfulfilled and then they went to chase these waterfalls, but you know, as we all know, chasing waterfalls, like you, you chase them forever, um, rather than just being happy and content with what you have in life um, versus not being happy and content with what you don't have in life, and it, it just full circle okay now if you never spoke to this person again um this, this that's the energy playing magic tricks trying to make things happen so the present energy the devil this is what's going on this devil energy is wreaking havoc in it's the center of this person's life okay so the flirt card is here. I feel like this person and the page of wands, it's, that's my crush card. This person's going to be communicating with you. So when I say the present, what do I mean? Uh, well, this here is the future towards the end of August. So from now, um, this might be actually even into September. So this is like from now until I'm going to say somewhere towards the end of the month as far as the present energy. Okay, there's communication. This person's going to come in with this page of wands and it's flirty energy. It's excitement. It's boyish. It's, it's girlish. It's immature energy. I just heard that dancing with the devil kind of thing. This person, it feels to me like the devil, I just heard the devil's making me do this. There's a very strong, um, addictive this, this person has an addictive personality um, and they also have this addiction of some sort towards you it, it, and it, it, it feels like they just can't let you go kind of thing and they go out there in the past or when they left or whatever they were doing and they find out that they're not getting their needs met they were chasing these waterfalls then here they come back around again um, now I want to get a card here for the devil okay definitely communication and you know what this communication is coming in i feel like lesson learned here this communication this ace of swords is always about using that sword to cut through the clouds and overcome conflict so i feel like this person wants to communicate with you and tell you like can you help me cut this demon spawn out of my out of me that kind of thing. I know that sounds morbid and I'm really sorry. I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> but when I'm looking at that devil card, that's how I'm feeling. Okay. And now they got the death card again. So they so now they're coming in into the present where with this death card, they've put an end to what they were what they killed off with you and were chasing. Now they've put an end to that and now the communication is coming in and they're going to tell you they're going to tell you they were they they felt like and th this is not for those of you who have lost somebody um, because obviously that's not what's going on however if you have now spirits just telling me um if you're struggling in the present because of someone that you've lost in the 3d in the past the message is coming in uh, maybe from a child who really cares about you and wants you to get some help okay that's that that's a very strong message there's a golden opportunity that will present itself for you somebody reaching out to come in and help you to clear clear help clear things out from you for you okay but apart from that i do feel like this person is coming in because they made some huge changes. Are they seeking your help? Yeah, maybe. But they also may be paying to get help, offering help from someone else. But I feel like, Virgo, this person with that Ace of Pentacles, this is like, 
they see that they almost lost some kind of an opportunity with you. They see here that you are someone that is worth investing in. And I feel like what they tried to get rid of in the past with that death card in the past, they actually lost some of their soul as well because they're coming back here with that death card again. You know, um, in a sense, like when I sold myself to the devil, <laughs> I gave everything up. And, and somehow it kind of feels like this, this energy is still there, but they're trying to get out of this. They're trying to get out of this. Yep. Two of cups here. Two of cups is usually an energy. Okay, for some of you, this person wants to come back and have drinks with you. For others, um, the Two of Cups energy has that Caduceus energy. That's a healing thing, okay? But they're going to come in with this flirty energy, um, communicate with you that they've let things go in the past. Whatever they were out there chasing, those waterfalls, whatever they were doing, didn't work out. That whole thing ended. You know, it, it wasn't, it, it feels like it wasn't meant to be. When I look at this Eight of Cups and that cup up there, that person was seeking wish fulfillment. That's what that is because you're going after that ninth cup, okay? Uh, material abundance. You know, whatever they were doing, they felt like they needed to just leave you to go do that. Show me this heart to heart conversation. Okay, Three of Pentacles here. I, for some of you, you had a conversation with this person and you, you said, we're a team though. We're a team. Why are you breaking up the team? Why are you, you know, why are you leaving? Why are you going solo? You want to be a, um, a free agent? This is what this person decided to do. They wanted to be a free agent and, and nobody would, nobody would pick them up. <laughs> nobody would pick them up. Are they coming back in with their tail between their legs? They're going to come in and, and admit to you that um, it didn't work out. Something didn't work out. It was a dangerous move. There's the devil card again on the death card here. So, yeah, everything that this person, the decisions that they've made or the things that they've done or the hurt that they've caused, I feel like this person truly does love you. But they have this monkey on their back. They have this demon on them. And it's like, you know, it's like a leech. I, should, I ought to be writing horror stories. The way I'm talking today, I don't even watch horror movies because they scare me. But this devil stuff is, is oh, I, I feel it. It's, dem it's demonic. Not in the sense like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they have some demon badges around them or something. But they have this... You know, the devil's got his hooks in this person. And I feel like this person is coming in to tell you, you know, there's a there's clarity and truth with this ace of swords. And they want to they want to come and they want to try again with you. They want to try. Is it a wake up call? I mean, it's definitely a realization. They're definitely having some kind of experience that they for, had, had to forego all their good, you know, that chasing the waterfalls, you know, letting go of all that was good to have this one thing, you know, and that, that, that never works out, right? I, had they been of sound mind, I feel like, they would not have made these, that decision in the past. But I don't feel like this person was of sound mind. Okay. So, so the present energy, I'm going to tell you here, there's going to be some communication, some flirty texts, that kind of thing. Um, the, I, I don't know exactly how to what level of flirtation, but however you guys would communicate before, they're going to try to reestablish that same way of communicating with you. Right? That same... Almost as if nothing has ever happened. Hey, I'm here. Hey, what's up? You know, nothing has ever happened. 
everything was fine. Oh yeah, I just went out and I was trying to, but it didn't work out. But it's actually uh, deeper than that. There's Queen of Pentacles, yep. Some of you could be dealing with another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and Virgo, you're always, you're just so stable. And you know, <laughs> look at her face. She's just looking at him like, mm-hmm, listening. Maybe you're passing judgment. I don't know. But there's definitely an I told you so. This person may even give you some flowers or something. And you get them and you're like, mm-hmm. But there's, there's kind of an I told you so energy here. Will you say that? I don't know. But you definitely will be feeling that way. I'm surprised the karma card does, has not shown up yet here. Okay. This person, okay, finances and career. I feel like this is something here with you. You're very focused on your finances and career right now. You're getting yourself in a really good place. Um, they play a huge factor, financial issues in your love life. You're getting, I don't know if there was a financial problem in this connection in the past or if that, that took a hit because of something that, you know, this person leaving. But right now, I feel like you're very overprotective of your finances and your career that for some of you, like the past could have been yesterday, it could have been 20 years ago, I don't know. But you're like, that's your baby at this time. You know, no passwords to my bank account. You're not getting into my apps. Um, not giving you any money. Um, you're trying to come back and I'm not trusting you, you know, because I had to rebuild something back up again here or, you know, I'm not, <laughs> you owe me money for things that you never paid me back for, that you took advantage, that kind of stuff. This person, you know, I don't know what you're going to do here. I don't know if you're going to respond or not. But I know what I see with them, <clears throat> excuse me, is they're going to be very, very persistent. And they don't care what other influence is happening in your life going forward. If you have remarried or if you have another, if you have a significant other now, or even you're just single and the, another interference might be in the way of like your career or your family or whatever okay this person will be very persistent in breaking something up here that you're whatever you're trying to do right which is really rude <laughs> that's really rude um They're going, you know what? It feels like they're going to try to make a lifestyle change here. Definitely going forward and be very persistent about it. And this may have something to do with travel or coming to you or going to wherever you are. Okay. You may not even notice or know about it because you're out there trying to pick flowers for your florist business, floral business or whatever that you do. And you're trying to work. And surprise, yeah, it feels with this Four of Swords, it's very silent. It's very, there's going to be definitely, they're coming to pay you back for sure, some money, definitely. But um, also very persistent because they know going forward that they hurt you, okay? And they want to try to make restitution is how I feel. This person with the Four of Swords going forward, healing and recovery, and making amends, that's what I feel. Now, healing and recovery could be from addiction, it could be from all kinds of mental stuff or pains from the past or making amends and kind of like apologizing, but it's not an emotional apology, it's more like a good faith effort apology, right? It's like, it's not coming in with these emotions, say, oh, I'm sorry, I love you. It's more like, I got to pay you back and I'm sorry for taking the money or I, I want to show you proof. Um, there's some type of communication where they, they're, they're sending something. There might even be a gift. And for some of you, this could be a birthday thing. Okay, that might be one way they're going to do it. And 
there's the karma card see I knew it was coming this is judgment this person is definitely making a final decision and this is it you are their life's purpose not there's other things in their life they have purpose with but you are like the you are the one that this person you know everything about them I feel this feels to me like a renewal this person I don't know it, maybe they come in born again for some but this person comes in like opening up Pandora's box like they tell I know that might not be the right term but they come in and tell you everything everything that this is revelation they reveal things to you things that they've been hiding for some they've been in denial they've made a huge error in judgment they were fearing change and they were weak and I feel like they come out with all of this and tell you all of these things here this is the healing energy with that four of swords four of swords after the three of swords persistent in this healing this heartbreak turns into recovery they try to come in and recover this relationship with you ace of pentacles on the page of pentacles okay so again <laughs> They want to invest and that's definitely you know invest financially invest um maybe bring like some huge gifts so they're they're for some of you they're like looking at a gift that they bought and they're going to put it in the mail or put it you know send it through amazon i don't know and um oh it's going to arrive and it's going to be very expensive this is um This feels like um, coming into like a, a, a nice big sum of money. Let's take a look at you, Virgo. I'm just curious because I, I want to I want to know what is going to be going on with you here. In fact, I'm going to use different deck here. I want to see what Virgo. What are you going to be doing here? What's your energy and what's your advice, Virgo? at this situation okay a couple cards flipping out here oh my goodness you have the eight of cups virgo now some of you might be like nope i am i've moved on i've moved on and some of you might pull your energy back withdraw from this and and for some i mean if you need that advice that's what your advice is not to re-engage in this but please understand this is temporary the eight of cups is temporary separation you might be on a journey to find your ninth cup now because you felt like you were abandoned and now you probably didn't know what else to do and for some of you might have decided okay well <laughs> I can't make you love me. So you went out and you had to go find your own Ace of Cups, right? But you're on a journey, okay? And this is temporary separation. So I feel like either it's your vice or this is what you're doing. You're walking away from this. Or you need to. Do you need to get distance from this? Let's see what else you got. <sighs> because you were hurt. Three of Swords. They know it. They hurt you. There might have been a third party affair. There may have been, and when I say third party, person, place, or thing, or an addiction. Okay. I saw that before that card came out. I saw it in my mind's eye. Will you be gone forever? Well, they're saying no. It's a temporary thing, but you're definitely on this journey to repair your heart. You freed yourself. You're freeing yourself from this relationship or this connection, or you already have. And you're starting, you've got a new adventure, a new path, fresh hope. Aquarian energy. So you might just, you know, if this person comes back in, you might just kind of say, not now, not now. I'm going away or I got things I got to take care of, right? Not out of 
revenge or anything because I feel like you love this person you really do but you're trying to get some balance here try just trying to get some peace in my life that's I think um Fleetwood Mac song um yeah you're trying to find harmony you're trying to get into a peaceful place at this time and that's that's you know emotional mental balance moderation leveling out that kind of thing because you have a pretty big heartbreak there one more card here and you'll decide later if you want to you know expand and come back and to be a team again okay but you're looking out on the horizon here and you're definitely putting your ships out there and seeing you know you're you're throwing you threw a boomerang out into the future there and you want to see what comes back your way um and that's fine even if that is just along the lines of like you're deciding to travel or you're working on your business it may not be to be with somebody else it could very well just to be would be with yourself and some of you might just feel like okay well i just you know you you know you, some of you may feel like this person left you for dead and you had no other choice to be, you know get on with your life for doing what it is that you wanted to do with yourself and that's fine i do feel like this person does love you i do i feel like they made some really bad choices and i I feel like they allowed these, they allowed themselves to be influenced by that devil energy. Could be bad habits, it could be addictions. Does that make it right? No, but let's take a look and see what their loving, loving emotions are for you, Virgo. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I wish I had treated you better awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation yeah that's definitely your person here there's definitely an awakening happening here for them i want you i wonder if you are happy without me so many things remind me of you i know that i crossed the line with you i'm so still very attracted to you <laughs> regret Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. And I say this, I said this today, and I say this all the time. We can overcome rejection. Rejection is, it's not easy, but we can get over rejection. But regret, regret is forever. Regret is forever. Can never get rid of that. I feel you leaving me behind. Well, Virgo, some of you are just, you know, you've been out the door. And others, you are out the door. And some of you are getting ready to get your knapsack, put on the stick, and go on the adventure of a lifetime. Retreat, go journey into something. This person left you before you could leave them. Okay. Fear of abandonment issues. Fear of vulnerability, fear of rejection. The only reason somebody leaves before another person leaves them is because they are afraid of being left. They're afraid of, there's fear. It's fear-based. It's not love-based. It was my fault, but I blamed you. That's the regret right here. When breaking that trust like that, it is so hard to get that trust back. So hard. That that's a that's a, sometimes a work that can take that would take a lifetime. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I wish I could share my good news with you. You speak to me through music. The person in your life, they're in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson and vice versa. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Virgo, I feel like for now, when you get to a place um, of acceptance because you might be on that journey right now and you may not be ready to, you know, this person left so fast and came back so fast, you may not even have time to grieve. And once you get to that place of acceptance, I feel like that's what you're trying to get to so that you can make a decision, you know, um, 
about what you want to do. That's why I feel like this is a temporary retreat or separation. I just don't feel like you're ready or will be ready. I bury myself in work to forget you. That's you, Virgo. That's you. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking, I'm not speaking to all Virgos here, um, but it's therapeutic for some of you. I feel like that's why when this person comes back, it's when you're least going to expect it because you can be busy doing something. And that's okay. This person fantasizes about you. All right, Spirit, let's ask the, the love. Where is the love? Was the love here? Or is this, peop is this per is Virgo's person capable of the love? Well, they're trying to become a better person. I couldn't let you get close to me. We're going to give them three more cards. I want to feel that way again. I'm afraid to contact you. I'm starting to understand our connection. The love is buried deep down under that devil energy. I do feel like there's love because the two of cups is here. It feels mutual. It feels like a friend, more of a friendship, care, um, potential for romance. It's not the lovers, okay? Um, but there is something there. Okay, Virgo? There is something there. All right, let's get some charms here. Okay, scissors. <laughs> Somebody just got a brand new haircut or is getting their haircut right now while listening. Some of you are telling your hairstylist or barber about House of Virgo. Go listen to this. These readings, they're great. Um, or someone is a hairstylist or barber. Okay. Well, what is this? Oh, the unicorn, Virgo. That's you. You are this person's unicorn. You're different. You're unique. You're not their usual, usual type and expectation. Some of you are on the cusp of Leo Virgo because you have the sun here. Um, and wherever you are, it's boiling hot right now. So you need to get into the cool air, go jump in the pool. Um, but some of you might be looking at like a, uh, I just heard, um, you know, one of those wall thermometers, you know, they hang outside looking at, or there's one near you somewhere, or you saw one today. And then the camera, the camera always comes back. Okay. This photographer person or you're working with an old camera. This is also Instagram for me. So something's going on on Instagram. You might be posting pictures um, of your beach day. You maybe you're in a beach at the beach or something. All right, they wanted to give a couple more. Okay, some of you are out here having yourselves a lovely glass of wine. <laughs> Little rosé for yourselves. Oh, and we've got a guitar. Okay, so either you're, you know, doing the hoot nanny thing over the weekend. Do I sound like I'm from the south? Because I'm not. I'm from the northeast, but I just felt the, the need to do the hoot nanny thing. But some of you got the guitar, you're having wine, you're sitting around people. It's a sunny beach day. Some of you are on the beach um, taking photos, that kind of thing, I feel. Or you're looking for a, a, a pair of scissors right now is, is what I feel like. You're cutting, or somebody's cutting something. Wait, I gotta get a couple more because I just love these charms. Ooh. Okay. So we've got sunglasses. And just so you know, this fell out. There is a heart here. There is love here, definitely. But it's, man, it's a struggle. Now, this here, I don't know what this is. This looks to me like a strawberry, but it's orange. So we're going to call it an orange berry or strawberry. What other? That feels like, I don't think I have any strawberries in here. Might be a peach. Somebody's having a peach or you're going to have one a little later. Or you're looking at, yeah, because this is a strawberry. I think that, I feel like that's some kind of a peach. I don't know, you guys. What, what kind of fruit? I mean, it's not like I was born yesterday. What kind of fruit has that color, but it's got the seeds? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? I feel like it's, um. well, it looks like a strawberry, an orange. I don't know what the heck that is. 
But I will tell you, some of you are actually like you saw a weird piece, piece of fruit and you couldn't figure out what it was. That's what this message is here. Or there's a new piece of fruit you're going to try. I don't know. <laughs> new, like a new piece of fruit. You're looking at this and you're like, what the heck is this? Um, but yeah, sunglasses. You've got sunglasses. Oh, those real big, funny, toy-looking sunglasses that people wear. Um, or maybe you saw somebody with those sunglasses. I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Uh, yeah, a piece of uh, advice card here for you for your reading. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Eight of Pentacles. Virgo, your advice here is to learn all you can about a subject or career. It, you may need to be going back to school or take some kind of a seminar, and some of you need to find a mentor. Pay attention to detail right now. And focus on doing the kind of work that you're good at, that you love. Okay, this is your main focus at this time. I don't know why. Maybe because of whatever's going on in your life and your career and your rebuilding in a lot of ways. For some of you, um, message here is enjoy your employment. <laughs> enjoy your employment, Virgo. Okay, and I wanted this to give you another one. So you have the six of air. The end of challenging times, Virgo is coming. Things are looking up. There's a welcome relief coming to you very soon. And you will and are finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness, you, this person, things will heal, okay? And travel or relocation is in the, in the future here for you. If you have a young child, somebody, you might be taking a trip or a boat, or you're going somewhere. The Six of Swords energy is always about a necessary transition. For some, this might be necessary at this time or relocating or moving as well. Um, you know what? They just called me to give this card to you. And I know this reading is going on a little bit longer. Um, this is a Sacred Earth Oracle deck. I have not used this deck yet. So let's just say I'm breaking it out now. Let's see what the message is here. These cards are so big. And I have like little hands, so I really can't get my hands around them. I don't know how some shufflers are able to like get their hands around these giant cards. I'm just like, I'm actually really little, so. Um, okay. What's this? Perspective. Wow, this is a message here for you, absolutely. Take this time, whatever you're going through or whatever's going on in your life, this feels like the hangman energy. Get some perspective on things at this time. Um, try to find a, a new way of looking at situations in your life. Um, yeah, because I feel like this is really, really necessary. Uh, they're just saying stop looking through these old glasses. Change. It's time for a new pair of shades. Time for a new pair of glasses for you. Um, zoom out. <laughs> right? Zoom out and see the world see things differently that will actually really refresh you and refresh your mind i don't think i have anything else so i'm going to leave this reading that was kind of long i thought maybe if i did the mosaic spread that it might be a little bit shorter but no so if you guys want to join me on my other channel moon pie tarot saturday morning 11 a.m to 1 p.m eastern standard time which will be tomorrow august 14th you can pop in and get a three card mini reading 20 bucks okay um the live stream is already up there. I'll be going live again tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, August 14th, 11 a.m. I'm there every Saturday, and I'll be doing them here soon as well. And I saw some of you did offer to do moderating. Um, I, I'm, it's going to really depend on what time I do it because I know if like some of you are in the UK or in Europe and we're on very different time zones, but I'll let you know. So, all right, Virgo, love you guys. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.